warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, students. Okay, how are you today? Okay, good. I'm very well, thank you. Is anyone absent today? Okay, good. Now, let's start our lesson today. We will discuss about Narrative text. Do you know what is narrative text? Yes, please. Okay, good. So, narrative text is the kind of text that we tell the story that past time. Get a point? Okay, good. Now, the purpose of narrative text. Anybody know? Okay, I will explain then. The purpose of narrative text is to entertain or to amuse the reader or listeners about the story. Get it? Okay, good. Next. Okay, now we move to general structures of narrative text. In the general structures, first, there is orientation. What is orientation? Okay, you've heard, but I will explain then. Orientation is the opening paragraph where the characters of the story are introduced. Get the point? Okay, good. In the orientation, includes who are the characters, then where the story happened, and when the story happened. Get it? Okay, good. Okay, the second is complication. What is complication? Okay, complication is where the problem in the story develop. In the complication, problems arise or begin to occur and develop. Okay, get it? Get a point? Okay, good. Next is resolution. What is resolution? Anybody knows? Okay. Resolution is where the problem in the, sto in the story solved. Yes. In the resolution, the problem is solved or end. So, the ending of the story, it can be happy ending or sad ending. Get it? Okay. The last is Coda or reorientation. What is that? Okay. Coda or reorientation is lesson from the story, or we can say that it is moral value. But coda or reorientation is optional. You can use coda or no, it is okay. Get it? Okay. You confused about coda? Yes, coda is for a value, right? But you can use or no. It is okay. If you use coda, it's okay. If you don't use coda, it is okay. Get the point? Okay, does everyone understand? If you don't understand yet, just ask me. Don't be shy, okay? Okay, good. So all of you are understand, right? Okay, good. Now, we move to language features of narrative text. First, there is past tense. Past tense use verb to. For example, kill, draw, or maybe spoke, talk, ate, etc. Okay? Verb that, uh, word, sorry, words that use verb to. Okay, get a point? Okay, good. Next is adverb of time. What is adverb of time? Okay, adverb of time is adverb that explains time. For example, once you want a time, or maybe one day, in the afternoon, in the morning, etc. Like that. Get a point? Okay, good. Next, specific character. 
specific characters in this mean that the characters of a story is specific or general. Get a point? Okay. For example, like Snow White, Cinderella, Jabataru, Nawawa, or something like specific. Okay. Get a point? Okay, good. Next is action verb. What is action verb? Okay. Action verb is verb that shows an action. For example, kill, walk, or verb that need action. Like you have a like verb when you uh, when you move your body, it is action verb. Okay, get a point. Okay, good. And then the last is direct speech. What is direct speech? Okay, I will explain then. Direct speech is a representation of the actual words someone said. Get a point? Okay, you confused about direct speech. Okay, now, this direct speech. I will give you an example, okay? Snow White said, My name is Snow White. This, this sentence is direct speech, okay? We represent the, we repre represent uh, someone said, Yeah, Snow White said, and the sentence is what Snow White, Snow White said. Okay, my name is No Way. Okay, so this is direct speech. Get the point? Okay, good. Okay, because time is up, so I will give you homework. Okay, I want you to make a group. Then, first, you search information about narrative text, and then the second is discuss with your group. Okay, and then the third is you present in front of your friends. Get it? Okay, so you can give an example too and give uh, generic structures in your example. Get it? Okay, good. So, does everyone understand about narrative text? Okay, good. Good good job, guys. And I think that's all for today. Because time is up, we will meet in the next week. And we will discuss about your homework. Okay? Okay, I think that's all for today. <sighs> Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you.